Hey guys, it's Dave on the Datavice channel. If this is the first time joining us, thank you for joining us. Uh, this is a community created to learn and grow together as well as teach our children through our knowledge and experience. Today, I'm going to be chatting about simplistic investing, the easy way to gaining wealth, not by building businesses and doing anything extremely stressful in the way pretty much everybody can not be a brainiac or not be a financial advisor and gain wealth easily. And this is what I'm going to recommend for everybody. It's what I do now myself. The first thing we're going to talk, we're going to talk about three things, index funds, compounding interest, and dollar cost averaging. We're going to start with index funds. What is an index fund? An index fund is basically a mix of stocks that tracks some sort of sector or some sort of, of trend. Um, and I have a few pulled up because we're just going to do real life examples. The most known one is the S&P 500. So if you're going to invest in a index fund, a really easy one is the S&P 500. I'm showing you Vanguard's S&P 500. You can invest in the, the ETF VOO. Um, this is just a blend of kind of the top 500 stocks in the U.S. It kind of tracks the U.S. There's, you can also, you know, the VPU, VPU is the ticker symbol, is tracks the utilities sector. So like electric companies, very stable and decent dividend payers, or these are just different uh, index funds that are just do very, very well. And index funds on a whole, so the S&P 500 on a whole, and it's what most people track their investments on, has gained about 8% a year over the past, and I didn't look up the numbers, but over the past 100 years, 80 years. And that's going to be a key metric that we're going to use is 8% a year. And because it, it's very easy to invest in, you all you have to do is put money in the fund and let it do its work. You don't have to look at it. You don't have to watch it. Nothing. So that is what an index fund is. Next, I want to talk about compound interest. And I pulled up a calculator from nerd wallet so it would be a little bit more visual and that's why this video is a little bit different than what my normal videos are but this just shows you it lets you put in a few different things it lets you put in money that you start out with and that lets you put in contributions so if you're putting money in monthly or annually and it lets you put a time span in and an estimated return so this one i start out with ten thousand dollars and said i'm going to contribute five hundred dollars a month and if I do that for 20 years, I'm going to have $130,000, not a ton. And this is where we're going to use that 8%, 8% a year interest rate. And we're going to show you why that becomes so important. Most banks do less than a percent. So you can see just with this in that 20 year time frame, your money goes from 130,000 to almost triples it goes to 345,000 and this is just shift here most likely if you're an index and it continues to do what it's done in the past this is what's going to happen and you can see the longer your time frame goes out so if we were to change this to 30 years look at how much the longer you can compound your money and compounding sorry i didn't really explain it but compounding is when your interest makes more interest so the money that you made off of interest is making more interest and it continues to compound and makes this huge snowball. So this is where the power of that comes from. So we're using the index fund as basically a super low mental energy um, approach where we don't have to spend a lot of time. We know that the S&P 500 does really good. It's done really well for a really long time. And we still believe in U.S. stocks. So as long as you still believe that the U.S. is going to be okay, the S&P 500 is a totally fine investment to invest in. Um, and you can just, you know, invest monthly in it. And the more you put in it, so if you're going to invest a thousand, the more that's going to go up and up and up. The other thing I want to talk about is dollar cost averaging. Another huge term. Dollar cost averaging is in essence contributing the same amount or the same percentage. I'm recommending a percentage. So it, let's say you do 15% of your income every month and you can do it every month, no matter if the market, the stock market goes way up, you're going to contribute the same percentage. No matter if it goes way down, you're going to, you're going to uh, invest the same percentage. In essence, what you're trying to do is get the average return. Um, so I'm recommending you do S&P 500 or something similar to try to achieve that 8% return. This is going to be 
more your safer bet. So you're not bet, you're not investing on emotion. You're just trying to take all the mental energy. Let's make the investing as easy as possible. Let's do monthly contributions of a percentage of our income. Um, so it's really taking the thinking out of investing. So if you're putting all those things together, if you're putting index funds, compounding interest, and dollar cost averaging, you're getting a very simplistic investing approach, an easy way to wealth and a way that most people try to game and it's unnecessary because this is just an easy way that you can do and you can be making the same returns as some of the big hedge fund managers that try to beat this benchmark, the S&P 500. The other things that I want to note here real quickly are this investment is very transparent. You're not putting it in some sort of startup company you know what it's invested in. It's invested in a bunch of companies that are very well known in the US. So it makes it very trustworthy investment, which I can't say enough. You don't, you know, when you're investing in a startup, there's a usually a lack of transparency. So there's a higher amount of risk. The other thing that I want to note in the S&P 500 or other similar index funds, there is liquidity. Liquidity means you can tomorrow take all of this money and cash it out and go spend it on some opportunity or vacation or something else. Now, I'm not recommending you spend it on something that is going to hinder your wealth goals in the future. You know, you're going to try to put as much money into your investing as you can and just let that puppy grow. Remember, the longer we grow this thing, if we do it to 30 years, just with that, you know, it almost doubles that extra 10 years, actually more than doubles that extra 10 years. So it's it's important to have as much money and that interest making interest off of it so we don't have to really dig into it. But being able to pull it out at any time creates kind of an opportunity cost that we can, if we find another investment that's way too good to pass up, we can easily just pull it out. Um, so with all those things, just a very simplistic investing approach and just easy for the average person to do and it is it creates a higher percentage of returns than most people trying to actively manage their stuff warren buffett and my resource here will be warren buffett has given the advice that he would invest if you know his advice to his kids or other people would just be invest in the s p 500 it does better than most investments and most people can't beat that benchmark so if you can't beat it join it the other reference I'll make is a book, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. And, and the one thing I took about that out of that book is don't try to get crazy returns. Don't try to get 30% returns. Most of the time that is extreme risk. And there's, there's really not any reason if you're just trying to get to a certain point. If you're trying to get 2 million, 3 million, you can do that pretty easily just by doing this and not having to create tons and tons of stress in your life. Spend that mental energy on the more important things, your family, other things that you want to do, adventures you want to create, side projects, and just put this on autopilot. Don't think about it. So that is my approach. I hope that helps. If it does, definitely give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.